Welcome to WDOM Radio. I'm Jeff, your host, and today we're talking to the Towson University Marching Band. Last fall, the band painted the Big Apple black and gold as the only university band in the 2009 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Our senior marching band correspondent, Matt, is out in the field with some of the people that were there. Matt, what do they have to say? Thanks, Jeff. This was a very big weekend for the Tiger Band as they marched from Central Park through Times Square and on to Herald Square to become real-life rock stars. This isn't Yo Mama's parade float where they pretend to play their instruments while lip-syncing. No. These kids played their hearts out to a television audience of several million viewers. Afterwards, they got treated to a Thanksgiving dinner aboard a cruise around the island of Manhattan and had several days to explore the city on their own. Wow, Matt, it sounds like they had themselves a great time. They really did, Jeff. This was a trip that they all will be talking about for years and will for sure tell their kids and grandkids. I met up with saxophonist Robin Bingham and drummer Matt Pearson to see how they felt about their performance in the Macy's Parade. Pretty phenomenal overall. I mean, you know, it didn't, it's one of those things that doesn't really hit you until after it's over. I don't even remember what exactly was running through my mind other than I was just so pumped and I felt like such a badass. And I, I was right in the front row and there was a camera right in my face and I know I was making this really weird face and I was like, oh crap, they're probably going to see that on the TV. But then I, I watched the TV and you can't really see the weirdness of my face because I have a you know big hat on and a saxophone on my face. When we broke ranks, at like I think it was you know a block before um, the turn to get to the actual mat where everyone sees on the television, you know, that was the real rush that hit me. For such a big performance, the band also had to put a lot of prep time into preparing for the parade. You know, we had extra practices, we had late practices, we had lots and lots of practicing our marching technique because, you know, when you when you march onto that star, you don't have your yard lines to tell you how far you're supposed to go, and so we had to really, really work really hard on our, not only just our marching technique, but our parade technique because we're not normally a parade band. The parade was three miles long. It took nearly three hours to march, which obviously took a lot of a physical toll on the musicians. Well, during the parade, um, especially on the first turn, there's five turns in the parade. The first one was sort of a uh, this traffic circle that we, we cut through. I remember I was just like dying over my back. My back just hurt so much. That was the first thing that went through my mind was my back's numb. <laughs> and after a few reps of our street beat and you know the fight song and all those things, I was really, really just focusing on having a good time and making sure that the people watching us were really having a good time because as a collegiate marching band, I think that's our, more so of our focus. Of course, all work and no play is no fun when you're in the Big Apple, so the musicians were allowed to wander the city for a couple days, and they ended up having the time of their lives. But I, well, well, what I did like was the one night when we kind of wandered around Times Square at like 1 or 2 in the morning, and we got stopped by this guy who was trying to sell us his rap CDs, and he was rapping about Nintendo, and it was really terrible, but it was really funny, and it was a really fun night. <laughs> Seeing all the lights there and seeing all the, you know, for me, whenever I go somewhere, I like to see the culture of a place, and that, that was really apparent. And also, you know, the Christmas season is it, just one of those things that you have to be, it's just one of those things you have to experience once in your life, being in New York around that time. Rapping about Nintendo? You know what they say about those New Yorkers, about how they sometimes behave so strangely. Band director John Malauskas comments on the praise the band received after they returned from their trip. A lot of the Towson community were, was disappointed with the Towson High School label on the television. I still hear in emails from band directors in Florida, just recently I got one, and the last part of the email was, oh, by the way, everyone's still talking down here how Towson was the best thing in the parade last year. The band had an amazing performance, they had a blast in New York City, and now they're all headed back home. Jeff, back to you. All right, well, we're out of time for today, but thanks for joining us on WDOM Radio. I'm Jeff. Good night.